Today on Chasing the Sun, it's tarpon time. Tarpon extraordinaire. We needed a hired gun, so I drug him up here. There's about a 16 inch box in front of a tarpon's face. If you can keep it in there for a few seconds, pretty good chance you're gonna eat. If you can see your fly, and you can see the fish, and you can get those two to meet, that's when you start catching them consistently. He ate it. He ate it. Go, 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 there we go! Go, woo! Harry Hottie is a Finnish fishing guide with one goal in mind. He's in his character. When he gets interested in something, he really develops this passion. Tarpon moving more and bam! Woo! This is my biggest tarpon! Holy man! Whew. We have party tonight. Chasing the Sun is brought to you by AFCO, American Fishing Tackle Company. Yozuri, fish the best. Costa Del Mar, see what's out there. Marine Max, High's Toggery, premium clothing for men and women. And by Ferry Topsider. extraordinaire we needed a hired gun so I drug him up here and uh, now nah, it's just a beautiful summer day been some fish out here on the beach so we're gonna go see if we can't get one to bite some feathers Mark Fisher is a Minnesota native who grew up hunting and fishing in the North Woods but moved to Florida in the winter to learn saltwater fishing and eventually started building shallow water skiffs well Mark I know that uh, we've had a relationship in the fishing industry for a long time, and this was just a, this has been a long time coming, you know. We've, you know, talked about boats, we've worked with boats together, I've bought boats from you, and, uh, you know, we've talked fishing and stuff for so long, especially tarpon fishing. But this was finally the chance, we got our crazy schedules and our busy lives to to all work together, and we finally got to get on the same skiff together. Your go crazy, check. Your crazy schedule. <laughs> That's right. Yours used to be. Yours is a little, little That's more relaxed schedule, now. Yeah. But that was awesome. I'm so glad we actually got a chance. The weather uh, let us get out there and go chase some tarpon. The miles of shoreline in and around Panama City Beach's bay system provide a wide range of fishing opportunities. But today, they're headed into the Gulf to ambush migrating tarpon. This morning when we first got set up, we really didn't have to wait very long to start to see some fish. Um, we've been fishing these on a pretty regular basis and of course, we feel like we have, we have them dialed in and how they're moving, when they're moving, where they're going, all these things. Uh, of course, sometimes they prove us wrong, but this morning they did, you know, pretty much their scheduled move. And, um, you know, we started seeing some fish pr pretty soon. These fish will swim right through here and ignore that. Bait. It's just a line of bait as far as you can yeah. see. I see what you're saying by the east side now. So you're moving in looking out. That's right. I got you. That's right. We'll yeah. try to sit right it, here. Otherwise it glares you out. Yeah, dang it, it's clear. Yeah, because really you'll see them good once they're past you here. You know, once of you're, you're past yeah, 90 you're degrees. all glared out here. We got a quick disconnect anchor system here. Pretty standard tarpon fish. I know everybody uses it, but on these small skiffs on the beach out here, it's something that helps us 
keep some of the water out when it gets rough. We put a little section of bungee in here, just gives it a little yeah. stretch. Paying close attention to details before you wet a line is just one of the keys to success if you're able to get a silver king to bite your fly. This is hard enough the way it is without having to worry about your line sticking. So this is full circle. The deer hair, shot the deer. This is, this is the head of a, that green, I don't know if you can see the green in there. The green comes from mallards that we shot in South Dakota, and then these are widgeon feathers. I always take some feathers and bring them back down to Florida with me and see if we can't tie our own flies with the stuff we shot and catch a tarpon with it. Comes full circle. Coming up on Chasing the Sun. He's offering to fly a 90 degree angle to the fish from the side. That enables him to, um, to notice when the tarpon is looking at the fly. Right there. Woo! Harry Hottie is a Finnish fishing guide who travels to Panama City Beach each year with one goal in mind, catching a tarpon on a fly rod. He started fishing very early, exactly 1964 is when he um, received his first um, cane pole, that's called, with, uh, we fished at grandmother's, uh, we spent every summer at grandmother's, and uh, ever since, since that day, it has gotten crazier and crazier. And so now we have him here. Um, he's chasing his biggest dream, I believe, ever, tarpon. It's in his character. When he gets interested in something, he really develops this passion. Luonto se ei ole niin monimuotoinen kuin täällä. Meillä on ainoastaan so uh, fishing in Finland is very different obviously than here. Um, it's not as, um, there's not as much variety as far as spe species that um, are fished there. In Finland they have approximately five to six different species that are being fished. Ja suosituin kala Suomessa on hauki eli paik. Most uh, uh, popular fish in Finland is pike, also good eating. They fish pike with lures as well as uh, flies. Good cast, good cast. He's offering to fly in 90 degree angle to the fish from the side. That enables him to, um, to notice when the tarpon is looking at the flies. He will move the fly very slowly and very carefully. Yeah, very, very slowly. Minding that I'm paying a lot of attention just to be very careful so the tarpon will not spook. When the tarpon starts uh, following the fly, um, he will um, speed up a little bit. The pace, how he pulls the line, a little bit faster. Yeah. And uh, the tarpon is following, and uh, when that happens, most of the time you, it, you will hook that tarpon. Yeah. Tarpon moving. Turn, and more speed, more, more, and bam! Woo! That's 
a really nice fish. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at that. Come on, baby. Don't go away. Oh, my God. Look at the tarp. Wow. Oh, my God. Ooh. Nice one. Yeah. I love. This is maybe two and a half feet long. Very nice, very big piece. Okay, buddy. Oh. Good guy. Woo. This is my biggest tarpon. Holy man! Whew. We have party tonight. <sighs> this tarpon season here. Uh, this is best fishing uh, for my life ever. Yeah, awesome. Uh, I hooked many. I lost many fish and. I landing many fish. I have a uh, very good memory and many, many new friends in here, Panama City Beach. And I waiting next season and I come back. I can't wait. Coming up next on Chasing the Sun. You can get lucky and drag a fly through an area with a string of fish and get lucky. A consistent day after day fish is you got to have it in the box. Oh, come on. No, golly. He thought it was a piece of bubble gum. Go, go, go. There we go. Go. Woo. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. trying to do here is there's about a 16 inch box in front of a tarpon's face. If you can keep it in there for a few seconds, even early season when they're before the pre-spawn or you know pre-spawn when they're tough to get to eat, pretty good chance you're gonna eat. If you can see your fly and you can see the fish and you can get those two to meet, that's when you start catching them consistently. It's not luck anymore. You can get lucky and drag a fly through an area with a string of fish and get lucky. No doubt it happens. A consistent day after day fish is you gotta have it in the box. And if you do, your numbers go up tenfold. Because almost every every fish either has to get out of the way or eat it.
the box. No look. Keep going. Next one. Come on. You got me. Oh. Get me. The tarpon fishing is a game of patience. It's yeah. it's a it's an ebb and flow thing where you get you'll get a, a good. This is the part people miss about tarpon fishing. They get they get impatient with it, but they don't realize that the flow's coming at some point. That's if right. you're in the right place and, the, and there's yeah. tarpon around, you're going to get a flow sooner or later. That's going to be there. A long shot. You're going to get into the. Are they going to be there? Nah, Otherwise, I can. I, I can. Pick uh, slow, him. slow, slow, slow. He's already turning on you. Yeah. Keep nice and easy right there. That inside pitch. Here he comes. He's on you. He sees you. He sees you. He's all over you. He ate it. He ate it. Fish. Go, go, go. Go and go. Go. Woo. Come on. Go away. Go away. Get away from the boat. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. This is a big fish. He doesn't even. He doesn't even move it. After all that fight, once he got back with that new pack of fish, he was gone. He was gone. He was just going to take. I mean, he's migrating. And, and I cranked. You know how I felt. I know. I, I don't use a I whole lot of. Really pull the fly I don't use a whole really lot of palm. I just cranked. That's an down. amazing amount and, of drag. And man, he just took off with that group, and I'm yeah. like, we're not stopping him. Good one too. Here we go. Oh, oh he's oh, gone. He jumped off. Dude. Jumped him off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. First shot with Mark's. Superfly. Yeah, with the old fly that we tied from the feathers that we killed, but I think that as far as this goes, this is a much smaller profile than what we started with, and we got some really, really clear water. So I went to a longer leader, about 16 feet, and then um, a smaller fly, and obviously it was a good, good result. I guess you got to. He, he ended up. Here, here's what happened. I when you guys were, I knew he ate. Ah. I watched him eat it, and you, he said he's following you, and I'm like, he already ate it, and it was, uh, it was way down. This is what happens when you go down to 40 sometimes. He got it really, really deep, and uh, just can't, it can't take that. It gets chafed out pretty fast on a big fish, so you got to get lucky enough to either catch him in the latch or on the button, but anyways, we'll tie up and give another shot. You got one right under. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. There you go. Got Oh, come off! No, golly! Come off! <laughs> he thought it was a piece of bubble gum. We all come up with different solutions to problems. My right. solution is I cast backhand basically the same as I do making a forehand cast. So sure. it gives me that 180 sure. degree uh, range uh, of making a cast. When I saw you just basically just swap seamlessly. Look at this. That, that was impressive. That's like uh, the Chipper Jones of fly fishing. I think. <laughs> Where'd you learn that? I was fishing in the Keys. Yeah. And it's just so windy there that instead of coming across somebody, yeah. and sometimes it's easier than a backhand. So I just went out in the street. I practiced. I, I think in, in, as, as an angler, though, we all have to spend the time to get better at what, what we do. Yeah. And not expect so much out of our, out of the, out of the guide. That's all we are uh, is is a way to get people to the fish with the right tackle at the right yeah. time. We create that that the setup, but then after that, and, and all fishing is not like that. But in tarpon fishing, in tarpon fishing, the is. angler up there, the guy with the rod in his hand, he's the one that's, that's got to make it happen. That's it. Coming up next on Chasing the Sun. We got this big thunderstorm pushing up behind us, so sometimes it doesn't matter how good the fishing is. This whole Panama City Beach thing, you know, you hear a lot about it. Yeah. It, I tell you what, if you haven't come here to see the Emerald Coast, yes. you don't realize how beautiful this is. Chasing the Sun has been brought to you by Pat
sitting on the money back here behind us. We had these fish lined up really good. And it's just one of the things that happens. You know, we were getting some bites, but we got this big thunderstorm pushing up behind us. So sometimes it doesn't matter how good the fishing is. We're gonna stay safe. And that's just kind of standard operating procedure in the summertime here. You're gonna have these things pop up. A lot of times they won't last real long. So do yourself a favor, move out of the, move out of the area, let them pass through. You know, even if you have to miss some good fishing opportunities because of it, you know, at least you'll be there for the next, for the next opportunity. So Mark, I know another thing, uh, You've been all over the country, all over the you know world probably, but but really all over Florida. Uh, you know, I know you've uh, lived in Southeast Florida and and on the West mm -hmm. Coast of Florida and had businesses in Florida. You've done so much here, um, you know, and then now you've got on a, a routine lately of coming up here to visit me in Panama City Beach. And I appreciate you coming up here. It's a uh, it really is refreshing for me. It's like having the day off, being able yeah. to go play fish. Yeah. You know? Well, I love the invite. I. I yeah. I very much appreciate you. This whole Panama City Beach thing, you know, you hear a lot about it. Yeah. It, 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 I tell you what, if you haven't come here to see the Emerald Coast, yes. you don't realize how beautiful this is. Yeah. It is, it's so beautiful here. It's, I've been to a lot of places in Florida. You know, I lived in Stewart for all those years and, and Stewart's a pretty place, but it's not this place. 